we've literally just met. Yeah. So what is your full name? Uh, Oluwale Ogunye. So if I could take my bank card, rub over the name. Think of your pin number. Think of your pin number, yeah? Yeah, I know my pin number. Look at me. Four. 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 Zero. <laughs> Dynamo, the great star of TV show. Magician Impossible has performed many outstanding magic feats. But many people are asking, is he for real or is he fake? What does it mean for a magician to be fake? Let's try to answer this question. As the name of his show tells us, Dynamo is a magician which means he does magic. But how do we define magic? You can either think of magic as real magic like a miracle or a supernatural phenomenon, something which should be physically impossible. But there is also another meaning for a word magic, which simply means that the magician is fooling the audience to believe that he can do real supernatural magic when in fact he is just performing clever tricks and illusions. When most people go to see a magic show, they don't expect real magic. They just expect that the magician will try to fool them with tricks. Does it mean that the magician is fake? This is a matter of personal opinion. It's your phone, right? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. See that? Yeah? Alright. Yeah. Watch. Dynamo does a lot of cool tricks with an iPhone and one of the most popular ones is the one where he twists the iPhone in half. He takes a regular phone, holds it in his hand and then twists the bottom part right in front of the spectators. Half of the iPhone is turned to the front side and the other half is turned to the back side without breaking it. Seriously, it looks surreal when you see it live and up close. Remember, he does this with someone else's phone so that there can be no suspicion of him using a prepared prop phone. He then twists it back into place and hand it back into the owner. So how is this done? The trick is actually really simple to do and a prop is involved. He obviously is not actually flipping the phone in half. The secret is this, from an identical model iPhone, he has the top half of the back cut off in preparation for this trick. Not the entire half, just half of the back of the lid. He holds it in his left hand, watch his left hand before he does the trick and you can see him getting it ready and concealing it. After he takes the phone from the spectator, he adjusts it into place to the audience it looked like he is only twisting the bottom. Then to turn it back into place, he again makes a twisting motion but flips the entire phone again. 
After that, all that's left in is concealing and removing the prop half that was tapped. He slides it into his right hand as he presents the pawn and then conceals it in his hand as he hands it back. <laughs> Do you think they'd notice if I took one of these? You want to take a butterfly? Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm going to stuck on there. Oh, OK. Just put your hands together like this. See, look, if you blow, it almost looks like it's fluttering, like it's alive. Right? Blow it. Oh! Oh! Watch. Oh my god, that was amazing! Hello! Oh wow! 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 I was so focusing on the one butterfly and next thing I know... Dynamo does a pretty instant trick here with Natalie Imbruglia, a judge from Next Factor, where he takes a display butterfly off of the wall holds in his hand and turn it into real life. Dynamo sits down at an empty club with Natalie in Bruglia. On the wall beside them are a bunch of butterflies made of paper and stuck to the wall for decoration. Dynamo grabs one off of the wall and places it in Natalie's hands. He then blows on the butterfly and it jumps right into his hand. He then cuffs it and blows on it some more. Then he opens his hands, it turns to real life and flips away. As it flips away, all of the butterflies on the wall jump off and fly away with it. So, how does he do it? First of all, the butterflies have been set up there before the trick. He didn't just randomly sit down, see a butterfly on the wall and decide to turn it into real life. It was set up there by he and his crew. When he takes one and places it on Natalie's hands, he uses invisible thread to make it jump into his hand. It's invisible even at a close thread. In the thread, the thread has been attached from the beginning. It's attached to his shirt button and on the butterfly. All he has to do is hook the string with his left hand. After he does, all he has to do is pull on the string to make it look like it's jumping into his hand. So he catches the paper butterfly in his left hand and he grabs a prepared real butterfly with his right hand. When he brings his hands together, he simply found the paper butterfly and holds the real one in his hands. At this point, the real butterfly is now in his hands and he blows on them to make it look like he is transforming it. Then he opens his hands and can simply dump the fake one when the spectator isn't looking. When he opens his hand, the real butterfly is revealed and it flies away. When it flies away, all the butterflies on the wall come to life and fly away with it, creating an amazing effect. So, how do all the butterflies come to life? They don't. If you watch the video in slow motion, you will see that they all just drop off to the ground. Again, that is done with invisible thread. Most likely a crew member assistant has done the pulling as it would require a great pull to snap all of them off. Then all that's left is having a concealed assistant releasing some real butterflies in the commotion. The trick fool Natalie and it can trick anybody really. 
it's a truly amazing effect